we are going to show you how to replace or repair the keyboard mechanism for gateway keyboards. What you will receive is a rubber spring cup and key parts. Depending on your purchase, you may or may not have the keycap included in your order. If you do, the clip must be removed from the back of the keycap before the parts can be installed. If you only receive the clip hardware, you may skip the section and move on. To remove the clip from the key, you may use a small tool, such as a screwdriver. You need to get in between the clip and the back of the key and gently pry the parts away. Be careful not to break any parts as you remove these. Now it's time to show you how to put the clip onto the keyboard base. Before this can be done, you must make sure that the clip is oriented in the correct position. Shown here, it is oriented in its correct position. To tell this, the best way to look at the clip is at these two top pieces here. There are two little feet that point towards each other on the top of the clip. That indicates that it is rotated in its correct position. The clip also may be flipped upside down. In this position, it will not install. The best way to tell is to look at the bottom portion of the clip and you see these feet that stick out here. They're flush with whatever the key clip is sitting against. Also, these outer feet here are upward. That is, this way, they need to be flush with whatever it's sitting on. In this position, you see these outer feet here are flush to the top of this key that it's sitting on. These inner two feet are raised up. They're flush with the rest of the part of the clip here. This is flipped in its correct position. Now to install the clip onto the keyboard base, first we're going to put the key in this, the clip in this position. Then we're going to put the left foot inside this hole here. Now we're going to put the right side of the foot in this hole right here. You'll need to squeeze it a little bit with your tool to get it to go into that piece there. Just like that. Now that you have those two pieces in, you may lay the clip flat. Next step, you'll have to get these two outer feet here to slide underneath these metal clips here. Pushing down and forward on the clip with your left index finger, put pressure on it, and with whatever tool you may use, slide these two outer clips underneath these two metal pieces. It's a little bit difficult, you may need to try more than once. Now, at this point, if the rubber cup has been removed from your keyboard, you may replace it with the one supplied. Now you may put the cap on the clip. Simply take the cap, center it, equal spacing between its surrounding keys, press diagonally on the corners, this way, and then this way. After you hear the clip snap into place, test it for functionality.